So, <laughs> I ran into another issue with this blasted tractor. Um, first, I gotta clean this stuff off. I'll explain in a minute. <sighs> Whoever had this before did some sort of repairs on it, but then didn't get everything back together. I mean, forgotten certain things. Yeah, it was just... You know what? Some brake cleaner would work. Don't need a lot. Just to coat it. What I'm talking about though with the way that it was set up is that if you notice what I haven't shown yet, I mean I got the bolt for this, the governor and stuff what I don't have is that right there the wood drift key unless it's back in there which I might have to pull this cam off again and just see if I can dig it out Why is that important? Because on the governor itself needs a woodroof key right there. So yeah, that's not gonna be fun. I don't know I don't think it's stuck back there. It very well could be. I don't think so. Alright, we're going to see. Nothing back there. Just a hole. Well, I'm back, and I'm working on the governor, like I said in the other video. Uh, and I decided why it took me this long, because I had to wait. Um, I decided because of the old one here, right there, I checked some of those balls in there, and they're about, they're getting close to falling out and I really don't want the thing to fall out inside of here and cause any damage or whatever else so I just went ahead and ordered a new one and what had confused me before when I stopped before was that that uh, uh, Woodruff key right there Cause I, I, I'm trying to do this Trying to put this back together the way that uh, 
the way that it should be. But that Woodruff key just and until I got or until I looked at the new one and I ordered it. Ugh. And the new one doesn't have it. So the other prop the other thing that I'm deciding on what I should do is how I should do it. Uh, is that the the torque specific specifications, I have three manuals, three repair manuals, and in one of them it says between 70 to 80 foot-pounds, which is the original manual, and then uh, the other one says between 65 to 70, so and I don't want to crack, I don't want to break the crank the camshaft or something so I think I'm just gonna go with 70 because I'm gonna put the thread lock on the bolt and everything so uh, so let's get this thing on first thing make sure this is nice and cleaned off first thing uh, there's a there's a plate that goes on first of all right in there just like that then uh, the new governor gets set into place okay and The nut, which you can see, if I can angle it right, you can see there's a, there's a there's a ledge on there, <clears throat> and that's got to fit right down inside of here so that it, it holds it Oh wait, hold on, I forgot uh, forget this must just be cold it's pretty cold today pretty cold today it's supposed to get colder I think right now it's like 21 or 22 there we go and then when you get down End of the week, it's supposed to supposed to get down to like uh, 19, 18 degrees. So that's why I got my electric heated gloves on. Check it out. I got trickies. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Yeah, they're enjoying the seed. Oh, there they go some more. <laughs> All right.
Okay, so that other nut was a coarse thread and what's got to go on there is a fine thread so I'm glad I did not force that on. I'm just going to reuse the old the old nut. It doesn't have the the lip on it but that's okay. So I'm just going to reuse the old one. And that one's going on. I'm setting this I'm setting this to 70 foot pounds. Correction, it is 35 foot pounds, not 70, not what those other ones. I think just because it's a new gear uh, but 35 foot pounds and I got the torque wrench set right so <laughs> because I started noticing when I was twisting that on it was stripping the metal inside of there you know making filing you know little bits and stuff and yeah that didn't seem right that's better Okay, and that's held on there. Everything is good. Cool. All right. Now, this must be for a different model or something, but see those grooves in there? I, it, they don't they don't do anything when you put inside here but when you put this in uh, what it says when the engine is upright is that it's supposed to be at eight o'clock so if this was about eight o'clock this right here uh, should be at eight o'clock which should be but right about there I believe yeah, that should, right. Yeah, that should be about, about right. So, and not not seven or anything before, or else it'll tear it up. But yeah, that's it. All right. So before I <clears throat> put the timing cover on because I'm going to have to set um, set the timing on this anyways you are what you need to do on this is to set this can't see that down there can you hold on you need to set this at 8 o'clock which it's upside down which that would be 2 o'clock so directly from the other side which you know anybody knows that but uh all right so if that's at 2 o'clock that's about right there but that's not gonna matter because because um, since I am going to, well, since the engine's off and I'm going to have to uh, time, you know, do the timing on this, I'm going to go ahead and set these, <sighs> set these for the correct timing. All right, and to set the timing. All right, that I believe is on time. <laughs> okay, so now that that is set to the time, now I'm gonna set this to two o'clock. Mm. 
would be 12, 1, that would be 3, so that's got to be 2. 2 o'clock right there. 1, noon, 1, 2, 3. Okay. 